Have you ever wondered how we can create sustainable and self-sufficient agricultural systems that align with natural ecosystems? Welcome to the intriguing world of permaculture, a design system and philosophy that's all about harmonious integration with nature. Permaculture, an intriguing blend of permanent agriculture and permanent culture, is not just about farming, but a holistic view of a sustainable lifestyle. It's a philosophy that advocates for working with, rather than against, nature. It's about creating a symbiotic relationship with our environment, where each element supports and nourishes the other, creating a self-sustaining system. Permaculture is a dance with nature, where humans don't lead, but follow the rhythm of the earth. It's about observing and understanding the patterns and intricacies of nature, and then applying those learnings to design our own environments. This philosophy extends beyond just our gardens or farms, it's about our homes, our communities, and our lifestyles. At its core, permaculture is guided by three fundamental tenets. First, care for the earth. This means respecting all living and non-living things, maintaining biodiversity, and ensuring the sustainability of our resources. Second, care for the people. This involves creating environments and systems that cater to the needs of all people, without exploiting or depriving others. Lastly, fair share. This principle is about setting limits to consumption and reproduction, and redistributing surplus to benefit all. These principles aren't just theoretical, they're deeply practical, and have been applied in diverse settings the world over. From small urban balconies to large farming landscapes, permaculture principles are transforming how we interact with nature. So, what is permaculture? It's a roadmap to a sustainable future, a philosophy that redefines our relationship with nature and a practical approach to creating resilient and self-sustaining systems. It's not just about growing food, it's about growing communities, economies, and a better future. So at its heart, permaculture is about designing ecological, sustainable, and self-maintained systems modeled from natural ecosystems. So how does permaculture work? What are the principles that guide this system? Well, the heart of permaculture lies in 12 guiding principles. These principles, designed by David Holmgren, form a set of guidelines for creating sustainable, efficient, and ecologically friendly systems. First up, we have observe and interact. It's all about understanding the environment and learning from it. This principle encourages us to engage with nature, watch how it works, and adapt our methods accordingly. Next, there's catch and store energy. This principle is all about harnessing the power of nature. It could be collecting rainwater, growing food, or capturing sunlight with solar panels. The idea is to store and use this energy efficiently to create a self-sustaining system. The third principle is obtain a yield. This means that every permaculture system should produce something valuable, whether it's food, energy, or a beneficial habitat for wildlife. It's about creating systems that give back, that are productive and beneficial. Boca Smoothie Greens is a blend of organic grasses, superfoods, B vitamins, and botanical extracts designed to fuel the body with broad spectrum nutrients for optimal mental and physical functionality. This whole food blend empowers the body through fruits and vegetables, organic grasses, adaptogens, immune-boosting herbs, plant extracts, and enzymes. With Boca Smoothie Greens, you can quickly supercharge what the best nature has to offer. Other principles include apply self-regulation and accept feedback, use and value renewable resources and services, produce no waste, design from patterns to details, integrate rather than segregate, use small and slow solutions, use and value diversity, use edges and value the marginal, and finally, creatively use and respond to change. Each of these principles is a piece of the puzzle that makes up a permaculture system. They guide us in creating systems that work with nature, not against it. They inspire us to think creatively, to be resourceful, and to respect the intricate web of life that surrounds us. But remember, these principles aren't a strict rule book. They're more like signposts, pointing us in the right direction. They encourage us to think critically and creatively, to observe and learn from the natural world, and to design systems that are sustainable, efficient, and beneficial for all life. So there you have it, the 12 principles of permaculture. They're not just about farming or gardening, but about a way of life, a way of thinking about our relationship with nature. These principles aren't hard rules. Rather, they provide a framework for understanding and working with nature. Now, you might be thinking, isn't permaculture just organic farming? Well, it's a common misconception. Let's untangle this a bit. Organic farming, while a significant aspect, is merely a single component of permaculture. Picture organic farming as a puzzle piece and permaculture as the completed puzzle. Organic farming focuses on producing crops without synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, whereas permaculture goes several steps further. 
Permaculture is a holistic approach that extends beyond just farming practices. It's a philosophy, a way of life, a design system that mimics nature's patterns and relationships. It's about creating sustainable and self-sufficient systems that cater not only to our alimentary needs, but also to our energy, water, and social requirements. When we talk about energy systems in permaculture, we're referring to strategies that harness renewable sources and reduce waste. Picture a home powered by solar panels or a wind turbine spinning in a field. These are examples of how permaculture incorporates energy systems. Water management is another crucial component. In a permaculture system, water is seen as a precious resource to be conserved and reused. Rainwater harvesting systems, gray water recycling, and natural filtration methods are all part of this approach. And then there's the social aspect. Permaculture isn't just about the environment, it's about people too. It encourages community engagement, shared resources, and local trade. It's about creating societies that are not just sustainable, but also equitable and just. So, you see, permaculture is a tapestry woven with many threads. It's about creating systems that are not merely sustainable, but also resilient and regenerative. It's about working with nature rather than against it, and creating a future where humans and the environment can thrive together. So, while organic farming plays a role, Permaculture is a broader and more encompassing philosophy. Want to know something surprising about permaculture? It's more than just a farming method, it's a lifestyle. Now let's dive into some astonishing facts about this sustainable practice. You see, permaculture isn't just about growing plants, it's about nurturing and enhancing biodiversity. It's an approach that understands and respects the intricate interconnectedness of all life. When you create a permaculture garden, you're not just cultivating crops, you're building a mini ecosystem a haven for a myriad of creatures, from earthworms to butterflies, each playing their vital role in maintaining the health of your little patch of earth. And there's more. Permaculture isn't just good for the bugs and the birds, it's good for us too. It's a powerful tool in the fight against climate change. By working with nature rather than against it, by recycling nutrients, conserving water, and improving soil health, permaculture can significantly reduce our carbon footprint. It's a small, but oh so significant step towards a greener, healthier planet. But what about the food? Well, here's another surprise. Permaculture can lead to healthier, more nutritious food. When you let nature do its thing, when you let the soil teem with life, when you avoid synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, you end up with food that's not only more flavorful, but also packed with nutrients. It's food as it should be. Food that nourishes not just our bodies, but our souls too. So, you see, permaculture is far more than a farming technique. It's a philosophy, a way of life, a solution to many of the problems we face in this modern world. It's about living in harmony with nature, about taking care of our planet, about building a sustainable future for ourselves, our children, and the generations to come. In essence, permaculture is a revolution disguised as organic gardening. So, are you ready to join the revolution? With all this information, you might be wondering, where do I start? You're not alone. Starting a new venture, especially one as comprehensive as permaculture, can seem overwhelming. But don't worry, the beauty of permaculture is that it's all about working with nature and adapting to your unique circumstances. So, let's start small and learn as we go. Firstly, observe and interact. Look around your living space. What natural resources are available to you? Sunlight, rainwater, or even wind? How can these be harnessed in a sustainable way? What plants and animals thrive in your area? By observing and interacting with your environment, you'll start to see opportunities for sustainable living that you might have missed before. Next, catch and store energy. This could be as simple as installing a rainwater collection system or as complex as setting up solar panels. Remember, the goal is not to do everything at once, but to start making small changes that add up over time. Another step is to produce waste responsibly. Composting is a great way to turn kitchen scraps into nutrient-rich soil for your garden. It's a simple yet effective way of closing the nutrient cycle. And finally, integrate rather than segregate. This means creating systems that work together, where the output of one element becomes the input of another. For example, chickens can help control pests in a garden, while their waste provides nutrients for the plants. These are just a few ways to start incorporating permaculture principles into your everyday life. But remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Above all, keep learning and experimenting. Permaculture is not a fixed set of rules, but a flexible approach that evolves with time and experience. Remember, permaculture is not just about creating sustainable systems. It's about creating a sustainable future. And that starts with each one of us. 
Often called the mushroom of the gods, lion's mane has a long history of medicinal use. This popular nootropic has been shown to enhance focus and increase cognition, helping you feel more productive and accomplished. Research studies have also shown that lion's mane is neuroprotective, giving you peace of mind as you power through your day. Try lion's mane and experience the mental clarity and productivity boost you've been missing.